Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, back with another video of uh, the Jetta. Um, recently, in some of the other videos I've done, uh, I went over how I did the wheels black. I uh, recently just went back over them with plastic it. Uh, initially, I just spray painted them, but there were going to be issues where sometimes the paint was chipping off after I'd go to the car wash. Um, reason for this video is in, uh, I think maybe the past video I said about how I ordered a wing off of eBay from China because that's where most of our parts for these cars for the body accessory are, are easier to find. Um, so one of them actually did come in uh, the rear wing um, with having it white I was actually able to select um, having the wing already painted to match the car so that was a plus. Uh, I think I paid like 72 bucks for it with free shipping with it painted. Um, overall quality of the wing is pretty good actually. Let me back this heater down so I don't feel like I'm yelling. Um, overall quality of the wing is good. Uh, paint job on the wing is really good. Uh, it's on point for uh, matching the, uh, the the paint tone or the white that my car is. But I just wanted to go ahead and show you. It is a trunk lip wing. Now, it does have the reflective strip in it. It's actually not even a sticker. It's actually just plastic. There are two screws on the inside that I could pop this off, but then I'm left with the hole. So it's kind of offsetting from the rest of the, considering my taillights are dark. So I'm gonna leave this cure for probably a day or so. And then that uh, red strip is actually going to be just plasti dip. I'm just gonna plasti dip it. So it looks like it would be like an optional third brake light just plasti dipped out of the way. Um, I was actually hoping it might've been like a reflective sticker that I could peel it off. And then I'm just left with a constant white um, lip across the back. But overall, I mean, the paint is uh, pretty decent. I will provide the link for this wing uh, on eBay. They have other variations of it. However, this was one of the ones that I liked more. Um, they do have them in black, of course. Uh, you can get them in like a matte or like a gloss finish, I believe. So, but I just want to do another video on this and uh, just throw the link in there for anybody looking to be able to accessorize their body on the newer Volkswagens. Once again, it's for a 2019. Um, only downside to this wing was they didn't send any adhesive, which with that being said, I'm okay with, uh, cause I'd prefer to use my own choice of adhesive rather than um, like your standard 3M, which only holds like five pounds, considering if this is gonna be on the trunk, there'll be downforce on it, wind, etc. Um, so I went and got <coughs> Gorilla uh, mounting tape. Now I did get the heavy duty Gorilla mounting tape, which comes in black. However, it was going on the underside of the wing right here. I did this whole strip on the underside and then a strip here in the corner. And then in the middle, I think the whole roll was like 60 inches. And then I did from here to here with the remaining of it, of the uh, mounting tape that I had. Um, reason I went with the heavy duty is, holds up to 30 pounds, I believe it was. Uh, so, and then once it actually cures and creates its bond, it's uh, ridiculously strong. Um, so with that being said though, I mean, overall, I'm really impressed with just the quality of the wing. I uh, did get a little nervous because initially they sent me a 
BMW logo. So I emailed the, the seller on eBay to confirm that I actually didn't receive the wrong item and uh, that I would be receiving the correct item. Um, for some reason, I don't know, I guess the BMW logo or uh, emblem with the M and then the, the three lines with the color in, I guess was a gift. I'm not sure. They never said anything about wanting it back. So whatever, I don't have a BMW, but I'll figure out something to do with it. Uh, I know people that do, so maybe I'll just pawn it off to one of them or whatever. But basically just wanted to show you the outcome of the wing. I do have some other pieces on order from China. Um, one other order I have coming is the headlight eyebrow, which will go, it'll line up with this and just come straight across to the other side, which I ordered in carbon fiber, but in all honesty, it's just gonna get plastic dip because the original grill on the Jetta is chrome, just plastic dipped all the black. Another thing I have coming is a front three piece lip. That is, I believe that's matte black or it might be glossy black. Either way, if it comes in glossy, still gonna get plasti dip. Not a big gloss black person. Plus the matte finish I think goes along with the rest of the uh, exterior of the car, which is like your A pillar or your B pillar. Um, windows trim and stuff like that so I just kind of want to stick with the same theme of the white and black one now the taillights since I redid do those yeah since I re plasti dipped those I did go a little darker and I did change it up from how I did them initially and as well as on my wife's car initially I left open the turn signal however I did not this time when I redid them on mine. I just left open the reverse light and then extended over into the remaining clear part. So it's just black and clear. So just want to do a quick video. Once again, I'll throw the link on there for the wing. When the eyebrows come in, I'll mount those. Uh, possibly do a video on that as well. I'll also throw the link in that video for those as well as the um, front lip. So always feel free to subscribe. If you have any questions, ask away. I will get back to you normally within a day or so. And um, with being subscribed to the channel, whenever I do upload a new video, uh, you basically get first dibs out of it. You don't have to research anything like Jetta blow off valve or whatever. And um, I will be doing a video here of <clears throat> a drive-by with the Jetta, um, since I've fabricated a custom charge pipe with the blow-off valve in it, I will be doing a video of that and an inside car video of the overall sound of it now, which it is, it is a lot louder initially than it was having an intake. Um, with just the turbo. Uh, the turbo sound is a lot louder now and a lot more noticeable. Initially with the intake, it was pretty loud to begin with, but now it is definitely more noticeable. Um, still up in the air on whether or not I am going to do the roof, plasti dipped black. Um, and if I, I've been kicking around, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do diffusers across the back window or if I'm just going to say screw it and leave it go or maybe do a rear window lip but if I do the window lip I think I might actually go with a white but I don't know how off-putting that will be considering I have the trunk lip so I'll probably let this go for a day being on the vehicle actually I'm honestly kicking around just plastic dipping it now and being done with it. So I think that's probably what I'm gonna do. Yeah. 
yeah, I think I'm just gonna plasti dip it now. So then it's done and out of the way. And then it can just sit and finalize the bond with it. Um, however, I mean, it is a, it's a pretty strong bond with the, uh, the Gorilla. I don't really have anything bad to say about the Gorilla products. I've had nothing but uh, positive experience with their, uh, their company, uh, even their clear. 3M tape. I've mounted uh, emergency lighting in some of my other videos for people um, <clears throat> where they were supposed to be mounted with suction cups and suction cups after a while will fail. So we used the clear 3M and they've ended up getting newer vehicles, taking those lights out and bending the brackets to get it off. So, but enough rambling on. Main topic was I just want to show you the wing. Uh, they came in. Uh, the link for the wing, once again, will be in the uh, video description. Feel free to click on it. Check it out. Uh, eBay seller was awesome. Super good communication. And considering it was coming from China, the overall shipping speed wasn't bad. Um, I think it might have been like two weeks, and that's counting the Christmas um, time period. So the Christmas holiday will delay it, but overall the shipping speed wasn't bad. And overall quality, very impressed with it. So as always, feel free to subscribe. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them. And thanks for watching.